Hey guys, this is SolarWorks Group. Today, we're gonna have a look at the one of the automation tools that I'd like to introduce you. So, by going through, you know, a lot of actually my tutorial videos, and then our ultimate goal is definitely uh, reach to the automation perspective. So we can actually just like create uh, our customized uh, just macros that could actually just speed up the process. So, you know, just be ourselves, actually differentiate from other actually just employees. So be a little bit more spacious, saving more time and then speed up the process of the team. That's just one of the ultimate goal of this entire just video. So I'd uh, like to actually show you uh, how I actually normally use one of the tools. Um, yeah, so let's dive into it. The first thing is first, so if you're in a, you know, shimmer industry and then, you know, one of the most common thing that you're going to be repetitively doing is uh, exporting this drawing data and also the part data okay so normally so normally the process of actually exporting those data is you have to just go to the save as and then uh, for this kind of like you know drawing you have to make sure just like set as PDF and then you know save as into specific location okay uh, however this is not the only thing you have to open up the part and then you have to make sure just you know save as and then again, you have to just make them as step file. Uh, so you can just set as step file and then you have to export one more time. And this is not the only thing because especially when it comes to Razor machine uh, or just, you know, mostly actually they are requiring the DXF, which is a flat pattern. So they can actually just cut the, you know, the chip matter part and then afterwards they're gonna do pending, right? So you have to just go to the flat pattern, and they expand it and then you have to just right click there and then if you go to the export to DXF and that's also another way you can just like export as DXF kind of flat pattern. So basically you have to do like three steps just separately. So if you imagine just like doing hundreds of parts actually just doing this step, this is just so much frustrating because you have to do three times, times, you know, 100 parts, that's kind of 300 times you have to do, go back and forth from drawing level to the part level, right? So that's why actually there's another actual tool, uh, which is CAD expert tool. So the way actually it works is basically you have to just go to the part level and then, you know, one of the benefits of actually doing this is um, if you just input uh, the file pass or you can just like basically click browse and then that's gonna be open up the browse and you can just select you know specific location uh, for example uh, let me actually just put in here there's no file saved yet um, and then I'm just gonna click OK and then it's gonna input those location and then I just want you to just click PDF DXF step file JPEG is just an optional but you know I'm just gonna export those three files and then just create so what that's gonna do is it's gonna just export those DXF and step file from the part and then it's gonna go into the um, the drawing uh, which is just like kind of same name as the automation under dash one and then it's gonna just exporting those drawing data okay and then let's just have a look at the, what's the result of it let's go to desktop APT and then if you go to the automation so as you can see actually there's three files which is already being you know created and you might notice actually the reason actually we are having actually a little bit different name structure is just because we have a you know dash number which is a configuration number just combined so this is just like you know we can actually just feel free to change it if you don't want to include any kind of like you know dash number but mostly any kind of industry we try to just include like you know many different kind of configuration so you know one part could actually contain different types of you know kind of very variant kind of you know the design changes we can be more efficient by utilizing configuration so that's why uh, we're using some kind of configuration just followed by the dash with the you know, title so yeah so this is actually one of the big benefit of actually using an kind of automation system so for now I just want you to just keep practicing some kind of designing skill and then some you know get familiar with the solvers in the you know, interface and then and then we're gonna actually just like get into some kind of automation perspective more and more so yeah it's, it's gonna be pretty soon so like just uh keep yourself actually busy with just like practicing and then yeah we will get to the point actually pretty soon so yeah just keep you know following along these videos and then let's just try let's be the solar expert uh in the future all right thanks for watching this video and then i will see you next one bye